Despite a strict lockdown, anti-poaching rangers in South Africa's Greater Kruger Park area continue to guard one of the country's most precious resources, its wildlife. During this time, usually with the lodges being busy, there's a lot more eyes and ears out there as well. It's not necessarily anti-poaching eyes and ears, but it's, you know, it's eyes and ears that pick things up, tracks or whatever. That's not there at the moment. The reserve's 550 square kilometers would normally be teeming with tourists in summer, but patronage is down to zero thanks to border closures and restrictions on international travel. And the majority of park employees, like tour guides, have had to stay at home, putting pressure on these rangers to patrol the entire park day and night to keep poachers away. Every time they're not successful is a, is a victory in my eyes. Um, ideally, you want to arrest them and get them out the system, but if you can stop them from killing a rhino, then that's also a good result. In 2019, nearly 600 rhinos were poached in South Africa, and there are concerns that people will start poaching not just for rhino horns, but to source meat to feed their families. We need to be a lot more proactive than what we were in the past. With no income, it's going to be hard to keep these rangers working and the animals protected until the tourists return. Ade Shewa Josh, TRT World.